With the patient supine or semi-recumbent, inspect the chest for any apical pulsations, scar marks, chest deformity, etc. Following a general inspection of the patient's chest as described previously, begin palpation by placing the palmar surface of your right hand over the precordium and feel for a cardiac impulse. Locate the apex beat and note its position. Ask the patient to turn left if you are unable to do so. Counting from the sternal angle of Lewis at the second intercostal space, locate the apex beat in the left fifth intercostal space just medial to the mid-clavicular line and make sure to note its character. Measure the distance of the apex beat which is roughly 9 to 10 centimeters in normal individuals from the mid-sternal line to the left fifth intercostal space. Now, place the ulnar border or the heel of your hand in the left parasternal area to feel for a right ventricular heave with the patient breath holding in expiration. Also, make sure to check for an epigastric impulse like this. With the palmar surface of the fingers of your right hand and with the opposite hand on the carotids, palpate for thrills in the epical tricuspid in the lower left parasternal area, followed by the pulmonary and sequentially the aortic area. Percussion is not an essential component of a precordial examination. However, it can play a role in suspected cardiomegaly due to cardiac tamponade or pericardial effusion to assess cardiac size. Begin by percussing diagonally from the right aspect of the chest till you reach a point of dullness over the precordium. Repeat the same process from the remaining three directions. Please note that it is advisable to mark these points of dullness to make a rough estimate of the cardiac size. Begin by listening intently using the diaphragm of your stethoscope at the apical zone for the first and second heart sounds distinguished by placing one hand on the carotid pulsation. Move on to auscultate the tricuspid area along the lower left sternal border, followed by the pulmonary and the aortic area sequentially. Repeat the same with the bell of the stethoscope at the apical and the tricuspid areas only. The examiner is using a master cardiology stethoscope and applying light skin contact for the bell mode.